Hey guys, it's Kevin, and today we're going to clean up some sloppy DWG files in BricsCAD using the Optimize tool. Okay, so I have BricsCAD open now. This is V22, the latest version of BricsCAD Lite. So we're going to be concentrating on 2D drafting today. Uh, the Optimize tool actually works for 3D modeling for the, for the solid surfaces, um, but we'll touch on that later. Uh, today we're going to focus on the 2D drafting. So looking at this DWG that I have open, you can see that there's some crazy things here. We have we have a gap in the line here. Um, you can see that the line up top is is not you know perfectly square, and there's some uh, things that are wrong there. So what we're going to do, we could obviously go and uh, delete some of these lines and redraw these or connect these uh, points and go ahead and clean this up manually, which is what a lot of people do. But using the Optimize tool, we're going to clean this up in in just a mouse click. So what we want to do with this file open, we want to go to the Manage tab within the uh, ribbon here, and you will see the Optimize tool. We're going to click on the Optimize tool to launch it, and you will see that it did, in fact, select the entire drawing. Now, in the parameters on the left, the entire drawing is selected. So if you wanted to change that, say this was a... Uh, a, a, a full floor plan and you just wanted to look at a few specific entities you could do that here you could change the selection select them on the drawing but in this case we're just going to go ahead and select the full drawing and everything is highlighted in blue so we want to go through the parameters and we want to make sure that our tolerances are right for this particular drawing now uh, the angle right now is set for five degrees i think that's a little steep for what we're looking for so we'll change that to two and the distance tolerance is a millimeter. So let's change that to half a millimeter. And five millimeters for gap tolerance and 0.1 millimeter for rounding precision are both fine. So we'll just kind of roll with this. Uh, again, with everything selected, you select OK. And you can see that the file just kind of magically came together. So this line got straightened out. This gap that was down here got filled. Easy peasy and we are good to go with this file. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, Kevin, that's great, but this is a very simple drawing. I don't work with you know, drawings that look like that. Mine have a lot more stuff to them. So let's jump into something a little more complex. And we have another file here that is a floor plan from a 3D scan um, from, a, from a point cloud. And just by the nature of how the point clouds are captured, there is some information that's missing here and uh, you can see that there are some lines that are not straight and what have you. So we can do the same thing we did before. Go to the Manage tab, go to Optimize. It's going to bring up that panel to the left and you can see right away that the affected areas that the software sees are highlighted in blue. So those are the ones that are going to be tweaked right now. Now what you can do is you can kind of play with these tolerances a little bit. Um, to a, a tighter spec. I'm, I'm just going to go have my, give myself a little more breathing room here and do five millimeters here. And let's go to a millimeter in distance and in gap tolerance. Um, you know, I don't know. We'll say make that 10 millimeters. Um, and yeah, there's a couple things that change there. So hit OK. And it's going to go ahead and go through and clean this file up. It's going to, it has to do some work now. So it, it takes just a moment. But after that, you can see that a lot of these lines have been dressed up and they're nice, sharp angles. We still have some stuff that's not quite done here, which is not a big deal because we could go through and we could run optimize again, change those parameters and get this thing fine tuned exactly where we want it. But in a nutshell, you can see what you can do with the optimize tool. And we really cleaned up a lot of stuff in this drawing in just a second. So that's it, the Optimize tool in BricsCAD. You can see how quick and easy it is to use, and it does a lot of work for you in a very short amount of time. If you got some value from this, can you please click like and subscribe to the video, and we'll keep you informed with, with other stuff down the road. In the meantime, I'm Kevin. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.